Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get past the bootloader failed error message when installing Windows in Hyper-V. Uh, this will happen usually in Windows 11, I believe Windows Server will give you this message as well. So let's go ahead and go through the process here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Create a virtual machine real quick. You have to do generation 2 so you can install the TPM for Windows 11. Let's just bump that up a little. Okay, we'll install it from our ISO file here. All right, so let's make sure we have the TPM going here and the settings. Your security like that. I just like to bump the processor up to two for Windows 11. Okay, so now we're gonna open it up here, click on start, and then we'll press any key to boot from CD in a second here. Okay, so I'm pressing a key here, and you see we have you always know it's a bad sign when it starts this uh, pixie boot here. So we'll wait a second and we'll show you the message that you've probably seen before. All right, so this is the error. Uh, bootloader failed when trying to install from the DVD. And of course, it's not going to work for the network adapter because there's no network uh, option there to install Windows, at least, you know, in this environment. And of course, it didn't find an operating system on the disk because there's nothing installed. And so what we're going to do here, we're just going to kill it for the sake of time here. All right, so now the trick um, is to press a key before you even start, because what's happening is you click on start, and then you press a key afterwards, and it's, it's, it's acting too quickly, and it's not reading your key uh, press there. So I'm going to hold down the space bar, and then click on start, and keep it held down. Okay, so now I'm going to let go that it got past the boot from CD message there. And now you can see we're in the uh, setup screen and we're good to go after that. So, you know, just a little bug for Hyper-V. Um, I'm running this Hyper-V on Windows 10, so I'm not sure if it does it on the server edition of Hyper-V or not. But if it does, you could try this. Just, you know, hold down a key before you press start and then you should be uh, good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.